So I'm here to ask your opinion. It's Labour leadership hustings in election time and yeah, I don't know who to vote for. There's a choice of Andy Burned Ham. So I'm, I'm, I'm from the north and, and I believe in the NHS. The NHS is, is, is just amazing. Me and the NHS, we just, oh, I just, I love, I love the NHS and it gets me, it gets me in my heart and to my bones and the, the NHS is, is, you know what, it's not even, it's, it's more boring than that. Yeah, I just really like the NHS and I just want to do stuff about it. And that's my problem with all of them. We've got Liz Kendall Minkay. Liz Kendall Minkake, she's nice. She, she seems to be like a lovely, a lovely human being. But you bore me. You bore me. Where's your passion? You know, the country's being ripped to shreds by the Tories who are destroying the welfare state. They're making people work for their own sick pay. Where's your anger? Come on, where's your anger? We've got Ivor Balls, who is just... Oh, she just annoys me. She annoys me more than any human being can ever annoy anybody. I don't know why. There's just something about her demeanour that is just is just really shrill and really patronising. And again, you have the three of them. You have these three who are just homogenous, media-trained politicians who are just politicians and there's nothing else to them. Then we've got... But we've got Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> it was like a practical joke from some MPs that wanted to just annoy the other three. And he's got a chance of winning, even though he never thinks through any of his policies. He just goes, well, you know what? I I think that it's it's fair that people should should, I don't know, get everything and and, and not have any not have any balance in it and not consider the fact that Labour needs to win an election to do anything and however bad we might not agree with little Middle Englanders or whatever we call them, the fact is we need to win elections to do anything and if nobody votes Labour then Labour can't do a single thing. Tony Blair understood that. I've never understood this obsession with Tony Blair vilification. To be fair, Iraq wasn't great. But if we take Iraq out of the equation, which to be fair is quite a big thing to take out of the equation and was quite bad. Tony Blair still had, was still on the clock for the time that we had sure start centres, that we had the minimum wage introduction and that we had the greatest, largest school redevelopment strategy in the history of this country. We need to celebrate that stuff because that... Those, not only are they Labour and Socialist principles, but they are also vote winners. They do both. Okay? Jeremy as well. Just Jeremy. Can't blimey, can't blimey. I've been to the 1950s and I want to bring it back again. Just think. Just, just think through what it is that you're actually saying. Because you might win Labour Party support and at the moment that's looking pretty likely. But are you going to win an election? No, no. I mean, there's a reason why the Tories want you to win. And, and I, I just say, you can, we need backbenchers. Backbenchers are really important to be really annoying, but they're not leadership material because they won't make the hard decisions that need to be made. And you might call me naive for saying that, but we're not Greeks, we're not revolutionaries, we're not French, we're not revolutionaries. In the UK, we have nudge politics. Nudge politics where we just nudge along a little bit and we change ever so slightly. And that is what we need to do. In summation, do I either choose the three homogenous Andy Burnham, I've ate balls or Liz Kendall mint cake or Jeremy Corblimey, I've been back to the 1950s or what? Who do I vote for? Who do I vote for? Just tell me. Go on, tell me. Tell me. Tell me right now. Shout at me. Great. Fantastic. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.